we're honored to have you here in Hayward. Um, Mr. Garcia, will you welcome us? This is your place after all. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Assemblymember Hayashi and uh, Speaker Elect Bass. This is uh, not mine, it's, it's communities. This is ours. This belongs to all of the people that have a need, which is everybody has a need. So uh, dental services um, goes, as Laurie was pointed out, the rest of the body. You can't just isolate one from the other. So I want to welcome you. We're very proud. I think this is actually um, a historic moment for us here. Uh, we've never had a speaker-elect uh, come to this facility. I think uh, this community is honored by your presence. Uh, I find myself, um, actually this is really typical because in public health and community health, I'm usually the only male with a, uh, a large <laughs> number of women uh, around me, but I think there's something very important to note with that. Um, uh, and uh, the concern about our children and the mother's concern in particular, uh, all the parents' concerns should not be divided up based on income or based on things that really don't matter. If you have a need, you have a need. Uh, we are very proud to be able to serve at least part of the need here at this health center, as you'll see when you, when you walk uh, through today. Uh, but believe me, there's so much more to be done. We had the belief even a year ago, maybe six months ago, that there would be actually greater access and universal access. And right now we're struggling just to keep the access that we've created thus far. And that um, is sad. Uh, we always have setbacks, but we, I hope uh, through the messages today, will get across to people that you can't have access by doing less than what you're doing. We can't go forward if you move back. And, um, um, and who is going to pay the pay the price for going back. Um, the safety net in California, the numbers are right inside us, so I won't try to, but actually the safety net, the nonprofit health safety net, community clinics and health centers <coughs> serve three and a half million people. Three and a half million. Uh, think about that. Um, primary care. Uh, in California, in terms of um, uh, Medi-Cal beneficiaries that receive uh, services, we have uh, one million dental encounters in Medi-Cal alone. Sixty-three percent of those are children. Here at this health center, half of what we, of the patients we see are children, half are adults. And I'm going to, I could, I only have two minutes and I, but uh, I, I, I could go on. <laughs> the important thing is the people and the community and this need and the health of the future. It is our future. We can't sacrifice our future. As an organization, what I want to emphasize, and this is very important, this organization that you're at right now started 37 years ago. 23 years ago, not this building, but another building was built in Union City, which is where we started. And from the beginning, it was designed so the dental would be part of the offering. It took 22 years before we could actually get the resources to begin dental services in Union City. We have a small three operatory suite in Union City. Very proud that it took that long for that to happen. Two years later, we opened here. It's a six uh, suite, um, suite, six operatory dental suite. And you cannot believe the demand. You cannot believe the need. You cannot believe, I think Dr. Um, Madrell will tell you more about it. So keep that in mind. Once you set something back and think it can be put together right away, it doesn't happen away. The safety net is resilient, but it is not infinitely resilient, okay? We are patient, but we are not infinitely patient because we cannot sacrifice the next generations. So welcome. Uh, I know there are many of you that I'd like to have acknowledged further, but uh, like I said, this is a historic moment uh, in many ways, and we're very proud to be part of it and to be able to host it. Thank you.